At the age of 22, Haley Steinfeld has already made her mark as a promising actress and musician. Born on December 11, 1996 in Los Angeles, the performer has been brightening up the screen since 2010 with a starring role in the Coen Brothers Oscar frontrunner, True Grit, a remake of John Wayne's 1969 Western classic of the same name. In the film, she portrayed Maddie Ross, a young girl looking to hire skilled gunslinger Rooster Cogburn to avenge the death of her father. She was praised for her performance right out of the gate, eventually being nominated for an Academy Award. Since her breakthrough nine years ago, Haley has made over 18 film appearances, many of which have resulted in her being cited as a standout star. We're here to talk about the best ones yet. Oh my God, what are you? Kicking it off at number five, we've got her role as Charlie Watson in Bumblebee. Now the reason this is placing at just number five is because it's her latest entry. With that said, being as it's the first Transformers film to receive a fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes, we figure it deserves all the praise it could get. In the film, Haley plays a lonely teenager reeling over the death of her father. Soon after, she befriends a Transformer known as Bumblebee. Like so much of Haley's work, she was immediately singled out for her one-of-a-kind performance, with most critics who reviewed the flick noting her lovable on-screen presence. Real View critic James Berardinelli, he stated in his review of the film, this works in a large part because of the depth of Steinfeld's performance. We haven't seen such a well-realized character in any of the other Transformers movies. Her character also received positive fan reception. The consensus seemed to be that Shia LaBeouf and Mark Wahlberg weren't exactly cutting it anymore. Taking the number four spot on our list is Emily Junk in the Pitch Perfect series. While her character did not appear in the first installment of the musical comedy franchise, Haley's role as Emily in Pitch Perfect 2 was certainly a welcome addition. In this successful follow-up, Haley portrays a college freshman who aspires to be a songwriter. Show us what you got. Right now. Right here. Right here, right now. <laughs> yeah. Haley joined the cast in May of 2014. Being only 17 at the time of filming, she was the youngest actress in the film to portray a member of the Bard and Bellas, that's the music group. On the day she was cast, director Elizabeth Bank took to Twitter to make the announcement. Haley Steinfeld, welcome to the Bard and Bellas. Now lace up your dancing shoes and get your tush down to Baton Rouge. At number three, we have chosen the role of Gwen Stacy in Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Another 2018 entry, Sony's latest stab at the Spider-Man world was released just one week before Bumblebee. Into the Spider-Verse sees Haley lend her voice to the iconic character Gwen Stacy with her Spider-Gwen alter ego making its feature film debut. Speaking on her love for the character, Haley stated, She's a natural leader, she is the smartest one in the room, and she knows it. There's something about that quality that's very likable and admirable and aspirational. She fits right in. She knows what needs to be done, and she does whatever she had to to get the job done. She's quite inspiring, I think. Her contribution to Spider-Man has been welcomed by both fans and critics, so much so that an all-female Spider-Verse spinoff is in talks. Um, if that were to ever happen, I would be honored to be a part of it. I'd love that opportunity. Um, any anything to do something like this again with these people would be would be an honor. In second place, we have Haley's role as Nadine Franklin in the 2016 coming of age dramedy The Edge of Seventeen. Originally titled Besties, the film explores 17-year-old Nadine's life after discovering that her best friend is dating her older brother. It also depicts her hilarious and moving friendship with teacher Mr. Bruno, played by Woody Harrelson. Nadine. Max. Maybe nobody likes you. While the movie came out in the fall of 2016, Haley was cast as the lead one whole year before. Edge of 17 grossed $18 million worldwide, twice its budget. As usual, Haley was praised for her depiction of Nadine. A review from one critic comparing her performance to Alicia Silverstone in Clueless and Ellen Page in Juno. Haley read the script and immediately fell in love with the character. In an interview, she commented on the film, stating, There's no sort of superficial element, there's no fairy tale ending, there's no fantasizing of anything. This movie is unapologetic and just real. Now the character of Nadine is not your typical cynical high school teen. The role is actually a lot deeper than that. In order to make her performance believable, Haley sought help from legendary acting coach Larry Moss. Praising Larry's knowledge and teaching, she stated that he changed her life. The two worked through every scene in the script, making sure that Haley knew exactly where she wanted to be mentally for each phase of the film. Larry also advised her to do her own research in order to make sure she was authentic. I'm just gonna say it. I like you. Liked you for months. Think about you every second. I don't know. Maybe I even love you. 
You're so complicated, but simple. And I just feel this connection between us. I feel like I already know you. And in our number one spot, you knew we couldn't go with any other choice but Maddie Ross in True Grey. Keep in mind, Haley's only 22 years old. She got a whole lifetime of performances still to come. We just thought we'd end off with a performance that placed her in the limelight. A Western through and through, 2010's True Grit tells the story just one week. The whole experience was it all happened in one year. We shot the movie, it came out, we ran the award. We're reading tons of award buzz. Haley and Jeff Bridges received multiple nods and were ultimately nominated for Oscars in the Best Actor and Best Supporting Actress categories. Neither won the honor with Haley losing out to Melissa Leo for her role in The Fighter. But we got a good feeling, Haley, she's gonna get a nod and a win in the coming years. All right guys, we're wrapping up this video here. We can talk about more iconic roles from any actor under the sun, but you gotta let us know who's next in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe.